this is me at the biggest fashion award show in Uganda. And this is me tearing my outfit to reveal that I'll actually be attending dressed in my normal everyday clothes. This outfit. <laughs> By the way, if you guys enjoy my videos and would like to support the channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the video. The Asfas. The Ibrian Style and Fashion Awards is the biggest fashion show, not just in Uganda, in Africa. And if the Asfas was our Met Gala, Ibrian's would be our Anna Wintour. Huge, bright lights, celebrities, models. And year after year, the most anticipated event of the night is the red carpet. I mean, the shit you see here is breathtaking. On one hand, it's been known to have some of the most beautiful looks. On the other hand, it's been known to have some of the more extreme looks. Now, as you could tell, I have no business going for this event. And it's for that same reason that I will be going for this event this year. I've just been known to absolutely hate dressing up. Oh, I hate dressing up. This is why I never go for any weddings. I've always just wished that in a perfect world, we could all just go dress for these events the way we are. And so I introduce to you the concept of home clothes. I've been wearing the same exact clothes every single day for one year. I'm wearing them right now. A black vest, gray shorts, and like, I'm not even saying different ones. The same exact ones. What's that? They get dirty, wash them at night and wear them the first thing tomorrow morning. If I could go anywhere dressed in anything, it would be my home clothes. You see where I'm going with this. In the wise words of a one Coco Chanel, Simplicity is the keynote of ultra elegance. Also think about it. If we're gonna stand out, I can't go dress too extreme. That's what everyone's gonna try to do. Nah, we have to go opposite. We have to dress more normal. And nothing's more normal than home clothes. Yeah, everyone has them. So here's the plan. Go to the fashion show dressed in my home clothes, but there's a problem. Security might not let me in dressed like that. It's a fashion show. But if somehow I could hide my home clothes until the perfect moment in the red carpet, when all the lights are on me and all the cameras are facing me, I take it off with steal a show and I do it while I'm dressed in my home clothes. So I saw these pictures on Google of people dressed up in like Harry Potter cloaks. I guess these would be perfect if we could somehow figure out how to tear them down the middle. I need something from you. I need to design this today. The idea is I want to go on the fashion show and I'm on the red carpet, I remove it and I show that I'm in actually like home clothes. So who will be a zipper? But I would have to zip it, remove it. Ah, I just want to quickly. Which moment we can put these things with uh, one bag. Oh, can you do that? I think. Where? Here? Yeah, here, then you just put it. <laughs> they won't see it, eh? Yeah. We hide it. Because it comes like a lap. Mm. Then so to them, they will look like it's just black. But to us, you can just pull it out. To be honest, this was a pretty tight deadline for Agos. He only had one day to get the entire costume done. So in the meantime, I went home, changed, and on my way to buy the tickets for the show, I got the most unexpected phone call. So totally unexpected right now. I just got a call from O'Brien's team saying that they'd like for me to present the award. An award. I don't know why I said it like that. I swear, bro. I was on the phone with him. I was like, bro, do you have any idea what I'm going to look like when I'm at the award? Do you want me to present in my first costume or my second one? So I told him that I'm going to do it. So right now we're going to see how to do that. Hello. Hello. How's it going, guys? Hi. This is the Ibrahim's team. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. I hope you don't mind me filming. Okay. I'm documenting my process. How's it going? Great to meet you, bro. And my heart's in my ass, bro. I've never done anything like that. Yeah, it's pretty scary. But when you told me about the presentation, I was like, hell no, I can't present like this. Um, no, we really want you to present, so. But this thing has no hands. Which thing? My overall thing. It's yeah. Okay. I w how would I even do that? Yeah. Like? Okay, August, I have some bad news. So they've told me I need to present an award on stage. But our design, I can't hold anything with my hands. Oh, oh, how it is? I'm literally picking it after this, so. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Can I come there now? Yeah, you can. I'm going to be there in like literally like 20 minutes. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. It's a... Okay, so this is the first reveal of what. What's that? Uh, this is like a sound. This, this oh, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, let's see if I like it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm so dead, bro. It's dope, eh? Looks like I'm going to pray to the devil. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I like this, bro. Alright, easy, bro. Zane. Once we were done with the costume, all that was left was... So, it's a day of the event. We had a really late start to the morning. It's actually night. <laughs> Lunchtime, so that's kind of crazy. The event is in a few hours. It rained last night, which was pretty scary because my home clothes were still dirty. Thank God the sun's out now and it looks like they're dry. Okay, they're not completely dry, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I don't know. No one else has to know that. You guys just like, let's keep that between us. I don't know what that was. Okay, so this is gonna be the first try of a complete costume. First, the home clothes. I can't believe we're finally leaving this house. Okay, ha! What do you guys think? Oh, the crocs. Can't forget the crocs. Okay, so this is what we're gonna look like on the red carpet. <laughs> the crocs are so beaten up. I don't know if you guys could. Tell. Look at this. I don't know if they can tell, but I'm hoping that these people don't think that this is RNC. Alright, so everything's come down to this. This is the cloak right here in my hand. You guys saw me vaguely try it on yesterday, but this is the actual try on. So this is gonna be the first time I'm wearing an outfit to a fashion show. Okay, that's the cloak. I hope it didn't get creased last night. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, give me one second. I have to open this. There's no going back after this, okay? And no one comment that my legs are too ashy. That shit will break my heart. Aha, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be my outfit. You see, the point is that you can't see my legs, so you can't see my crocs. If they see my crocs before I get on the red carpet, they're gonna know something's wrong. Okay, so I feel like I look like a mixture of a nun, an evil nun in the Conjuring movies, a devil worshiper plus a wizard. So don't forget the plan, guys. The plan is to go on the red carpet at the peak point at which there are a lot of people on the red carpet, and then, and then tear it off, and then step out and, Steal all the attention, okay? But I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. One is in the red carpet. So as I started putting on the costume again, something weird started happening. Bro, I don't know, it just feels like I just feel my anxiety like just like rising. I don't know what to do, bro. I'm not sure what it was. It just feels like but it just felt like something serious was happening to me. Okay, let's go and eat now. All right, so we're gonna eat food. We just came to a restaurant. It was really hard to get permission anywhere to film ourselves. Thank you. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, Christian isn't uh, here. He's going to take a big, big shit. I don't know a nicer way to say that. There might be no lover of rap bigger than me in this Uganda. Oh, Christian's back from taking a shit. Yeah, sorry, my food is alive, bro. What <laughs> I told him you're taking a big, big shit. <laughs> I can't, I can't take a shit in a kitchen, bro. It's too hard to go. Could you show them how I'm eating for a second, please? Right, so this is what I look like, for, but no one could tell. So this is what I look like, but this is how I'm gonna eat this wrap right now. All right, I guess we're done eating. I think this food was amazing, but it's time. Okay, one more time. Okay, I think we're done eating. It's our first time. Christian's back. I've been waiting in the car for like 20 minutes. Okay, uh huh. Talk to me. Bro, the red carpet is slow, but there are guys shouting whenever someone enters dressing nicely. They are mob guys, but it's crazy, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's so intimidating, bro. I don't know what you're going to do with your normal clothes, but. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> guys are dressed up. That's crazy, bro. That's sense there, bro. Hey. Christian. Bro, I'm keeping this tag, man. Who That's the all access pass that we have. Christian will never get all access to everyone's show, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be everywhere in everyone's face, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm happy for you, man. Damn. Uh huh. Read my outfit from everyone that you've seen so far. Bro, I'm so sorry. Your outfit is not even on the ratings. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, I'm going to give you a pep talk. If you ever thought about dropping out of school, if you ever thought that you'd never be anything, no, I'm playing. <laughs> this has no way it's going. Let's just pat on the camera. Yeah, what do you think about that? 
All right, vlog. We're only, I think we're super late to be honest. Christian just told me that the red carpet's on fire right now. We're about to bake the biggest pools of ourselves right now. Yeah, everything is coming down to this. Where's the entrance? Okay. No more smiling. All right, the red carpet. Holy shit. This is very intimidating. I think we can only do this once. We're gonna go straight to the red carpet. Straight to the red carpet like we had planned. Let's see how this comes. We go. All right, are you ready? Yeah. You already know where you're going? All right, where? At this point, I'd already come so far, there was no going back even if I chickened out. Also, the tickets were really expensive, so I'd rather make a fool of myself than go back. Hello. How's it going? Good. Good. Okay. All right, where are you gonna be, bro? Okay. All right. Yeah. Where should I be? Okay. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> everyone in me, everyone in me right now. All right. I was on the red carpet. It felt like I was the only one that hadn't been here before. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for some space. Almost like I didn't belong. I'm new to this. But fuck it. Three, two, one. I'm here now. Ah! Let's go, guys! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Ah, everything's on me now! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Bro, this is a bust. Should we try this again? I genuinely couldn't tell if they were cheering for me or for other people, Three, so two, I tried it one. again. Ah. No one looked at me. It's embarrassing. And then I tried it again. Ah, hi Sheila. How's it going? What do you think about my outfit? I love it. Wait, wait, but you haven't seen the actual outfit. What do you think about this outfit? Ah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and again. Three, two, one. Are you serious? Yes. What do you think? I don't think. Simplicity. <laughs> simplicity is the keynote of true elegance. At this point, I was just tired of getting rejected for my dressing choice. I had just had enough until. Ah! Oh, oh, oh man! How's it going? What do you think? Yeah? I saw a Brian's himself, the curator of the whole event, the entire reason we were all here. Picture! Yeah, what do you think? This is about you, bro. This is your show. I was right in front of him, and if my night was going to end, it might as well end here. Can I show you my second outfit? Uh huh. Alright, three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> what do you think? No, you put, you put it back. Put it oh, back. no, no. <laughs> nah, nah, he was like, hell no. Nah. I was embarrassed. I think this whole thing might have been a mistake. Thank God I still had one more chance to redeem myself. I still had an award to present. Otherwise, there'd be no coming back from this. This was it. We're actually going backstage together. Okay, we're waiting for a couple of minutes. Everyone that's going to present an award is being collected at the moment. I can't believe I met you today. <laughs> oh, Good to meet you, man. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Such a big fan. I'm going to Salem or what? Pardon? You're Salem? No. It's a place where witches originated and it so it's like some, some wizard fish. Exactly, that's, what I, that's exactly what I was fucking yeah. saying. Like Harry Potter and shit. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so at this point, the pressure was absolutely insane because I had never been on a stage before in my life, especially a stage like this. All right, we're almost at the point that we have to part ways, Christian. Also, for security reasons, I couldn't film past this point. So from here on out, it was just me. All right, guys, I'll see you. I guess this is it. I guess this is it, guys. I'll see you on the other side when I'm presenting the award. All right, peace, bro. So let me paint the picture for you. There I am backstage. It's just me and a bunch of celebrities. If I wasn't already super intimidated enough, I get my briefing that I'm supposed to go on after G. I'm supposed to present the most stylish male personality in Africa. So he gets on stage. I'm freaking out. He does his thing. Sandra Trinobudio. I'm literally right there just about to get on stage. But as they're about to say my name, something happened. Okay, now moving forward to the more stylish male. Should I? Let's see which side they're coming from. If they come up from this side, they will have to pass it. Go, go, go. Please come forward and announce the winner 
of the most stylish male personality. They said the wrong name. But that's fine. I was like, no problem. I still like. I don't care about the name. I'll still go. They were like, Nah, you can't go. You should have seen the look on my face when they said that. I could tell that they were serious. I was already so attached to the idea of presenting an award tonight. Even after all the rejection from my costume before, I was like, I'm making a fool of myself now, but no problem, I still have an award to present. I'll just like make up for it then. So to see even that go just hurt on another level. I was like, fuck. I know it's no one's fault and like everyone in the team is working super hard, but like, it still sucked all the same. But they were serious. They were like, you can't present an award now, but stick around. Like, let's just see if we could get you anything. So I sat there backstage by myself for like 30 minutes as the show was going on. I was like, fuck, maybe let me just go back and just vlog with Christian. So as I was leaving, I just saw my cousin Natalie going to present an award. I was like, hey. So they call her up to stage. I'm literally leaving. <laughs> But as I'm literally leaving, they said my name too. <laughs> this was insane. Thank you, brother. So I guess Natalie and I were presenting the award together. So tonight, we are here to present the Makeup Artist of the Year, Uganda. She's the best. She even let me announce the award winner. And the winner is Imani Makeup. A ton of you guys ended up seeing me on TV. Insane. I could not ask for this night to be anymore. Thank you to the Asfas team, Ibrahim's himself. I hope next year is even bigger and better. Today is the first day I ever presented an award to anyone. That process was extremely gut-wrenching, bro, by the way. I'm gonna tell you, like, I was extremely sad at the point. Yeah, <laughs> I kept telling Christian, okay, record now, one, 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 one. You're looking at an award presenter right now. Guys, I can't believe how fast we're climbing up in this Need Ugandan ranks. <laughs> okay, I guess let's, that's that. Let's go on. Enjoy the rest of the party. Good job, bro. Thanks, man. All right, we're going back to the party now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys. Ooh, subscribe, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please like. That really helps the channel. We're committed to posting one video a week. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, now let's enjoy this party. Of elegance. Elegance. <laughs>